the largest and roomiest of the Jeep models is now the Commander. This nearly full-size SUV offers three rows of seating, a choice of two-wheel drive or two different full-time four-wheel drive systems, and the off-road capabilities you'd expect of the Jeep name. For power in the Commander, you can choose a 3.7 liter V6, a 4.7 liter V8, or a 5.7 liter V8. One of two 5-speed automatic transmissions will back up your engine choice. Our test vehicle was a top-of-the-line four-wheel drive limited model. It used the 5.7 liter V8, pumping out 330 horsepower and 375 pound-feet of torque. We found plenty of strong, smooth power on tap. This engine uses a multi-displacement system to help save fuel and reduce emissions by cutting back to four-cylinder operation under light loads. The transitions go unnoticed by the driver, but the mileage wasn't all that impressive, coming in at a bit under 15 miles per gallon for us. The maximum tow rating for a properly equipped Commander is 7,200 pounds. This Jeep is quite enjoyable to drive, with solid, accurate handling and a well-controlled ride in a variety of conditions. There's a sturdy feel on rough surfaces and the full-time four-wheel drive, helped out by vehicle stability and traction control systems, provides secure responses to the driver's inputs in slippery situations. A two-speed transfer case helps you deal with the toughest challenges. The upright styling of the Commander maximizes interior space for both passengers and cargo. Front seat comfort and space is excellent, while second row legroom is adequate for adults, and the third row is suitable only for smaller folks. With the third row folded, you'll find an impressive amount of cargo capacity. A lift gate with a flip-up window gives you easy access. The control layout is logical and easy to use, but some drivers may find the lettering on the navigation system and other center dash switches on the small side to read easily while on the move. With standard and available features like that navigation system, video entertainment, three-zone climate control, reverse sensors, heated leather seats, and adjustable height pedals, the Commander is certainly a nice place to spend time. Pricing starts out at just over $28,000 and moves up to over $40,000 for a fully loaded limited model. The Jeep Commander is a very nice all-around vehicle offering strong power, a refined, pleasant driving experience on the road, excellent off-pavement abilities, and enough comfort and convenience features to pamper the driver and passengers. We like it!